The scarcest resource in the world's not money, it's talent. It's not financial capital, it's human capital. It's interesting when it's popular in the media, when people say, what do small businesses and entrepreneurs need to grow? Everybody says funding. It ain't funding, guys. Giving a lot of money, trust me, I've made this mistake, to average people yields nothing. Giving a tiny bit of money to rock stars yields amazing, okay? Rock stars find a way to perform with minimal resources because they innovate around them. Mediocre people, you cannot build greatness on the backs of mediocre, all right? So don't worry about the funding, worry about the talent. It's way more important. With the same amount of money, six rock stars will outperform 15 average employees, right? So I've always focused on talent and I think this is, yeah, I think that's the last thing that I have before. Yeah, I'll close with that. I, I, this is what I want to say about talent. Talent, uh, <laughs> by the way, I would always, if I have the same budget that I could hire 15 people, I'll spend all of it on six highly paid rock stars instead of 15 average people. You know what the conventional wisdom is? Hire as many people as you can. Make your money go as far as you can. I would say make your talent go as far as you can and give them the freaking money because they will create stuff you could have never dreamed of. So I would always hire six rock stars while everyone else took the same money to hire whatever, 12 or 15 average people, and we crushed them every single time. It is an investment in innovation, intelligence, and passion that's worth way more than the price of, than the amount of that dollar. But let me say this about talent. Talent, it's hard to find. The most talented people, here's the thing, how do we typically find talent? We post a job or we hire a recruiting firm. Now, I'm not saying anything negative about those, but to be realistic, most of the time, who responds to a job posting? People looking for a job. Why? Because they don't have theirs anymore, okay? <laughs> the most talented people in the world still have a job. In fact, people keep calling them and offering them jobs. They are not going to respond, most likely to a posting. You might get lucky. And they are not going to wander into your office and say, don't you wish I worked here? So guess what? You know how you find the world's most talented, passionate people? You go find them. You hunt for them. You know what I do? I scheduled, I used to schedule one day a month. Every day I would tell my team, I'll be gone today. I'm talent hunting. I'll give you one quick example and then I'll close up. Um, one day I was sitting in the office thinking, we got a lot of people and I need someone to run HR. I don't want someone average. I want a rock star. Okay. I could hire three people to run HR. I could take this money and find one rock star and pay her well, right, to do this job. But I don't know how I'm going to get her because wherever she is in the world, she's not looking for a job and she's not going to respond to a posting. She's not going to come into my office. So I said, for my talent hunting day this month, it's HR. So I started calling people and I said, where do HR people hang out? And everybody said, Sherm. And I said, is that a city? They're like, no, it's a trade association. So I looked it up. It's Society of Human Resource Managers. So I went to the website after I Googled it. And on the website, it said, don't forget to sign up for this year's annual HR conference. So guess what I did? I signed up. And I got to the conference. And everybody's badge said what role they had, what type of HR executive they were. There was like 1,000 people there. And mine just said CEO. And they're like, you're not in HR? I said, no. And they said, what are you doing here? I said, shooting fish in a barrel, because there's a 1,000 of you and one of me. <laughs> And I said, and I need someone to run HR. And people, they kind of look and say, that's kind of clever that you showed up at our conference and you don't even know our business. I said, no, you do, and I need somebody like you. And then I was sitting there and thinking, at a conference, typically like that, where do I find the best? There's a 1,000 people here. Where were the best ones? And I said, you know what? Probably the people they have speaking are probably experts. So there were nine speakers. So I acquired nine targets immediately. Then I was like, who's the best? And I looked, and it said, special luncheon keynote by Angela, this year's winner of the National HR Executive of the Year Award. So I drew four circles around Angela and I waited and waited till I got a chance to talk to her. And then it's all on you to sell. 